hello everyone and welcome back today we are gonna continue the last video where we talked about load balancing and left one part which was load balancing algorithms this is what we are gonna be talking about in this video okay so a number of different algorithms are used by the load balancer to determine which server should handle each request let's discuss one by one round robin algorithm this is the most common or default method and it works just as the name implies load balancer sends traffic to the list of servers in a rotating style or in a sequential order for example when the first request arrives load balancer sends it to the first available server in the group second request goes to the second server third goes to the third server and because it's the last server in the group when the next request comes from a different user load balancer sends it back to the first server and it continues in the same fashion the drawback of using this method is it doesn't take into account the load already on a server because of this there could be a danger that a server may receive a lot of requests and become overloaded and you wouldn't want that to happen right so to overcome this issue next algorithm comes into the play weighted round robin with this method each server is assigned a weight based on their capacities such as cpu ram and other resources by the admin at the time of setting up a load balancer this way servers can handle more workloads which means that higher the weight the more requests a server receives for example a server assigned a weight value of 2 receives double the requests as compared to a server assigned a weight value of 1 least connection is the third algorithm as i said earlier round robin does not account for the current load on a server least connection method does make this evaluation and as a result it delivers better performance so in this method load balancer checks which servers have the lowest number of active connections and sends traffic to those servers for example let's say server 1 is having two connections and server 2 has one connection when the next request comes load balancer connects it to the second server pretty simple fourth one weighted least connection with this algorithm you can assign different weights to each server based on their capacities just like weighted round robin but the difference is this algorithm not only consider the weight of each server but also least number of client connections so when the client request comes load balancer sends it to the server that has least number of connections by weight now least response time fifth algorithm least response time is the total time that a server takes to process incoming requests and sends a response this method combines the server's lowest response time and fewest active connections to decide the best server once it is decided load balancer routes traffic to that server load balancers use this algorithm to ensure faster service for all users because it sends traffic to the servers with quickest response time finally ip hash algorithm with this method load balancer performs a mathematical computation called hashing on the client ip address once the hash is created then it is used to route the request to the mapped server and you know the good thing about this algorithm is it re-establishes a dropped connection with the same server Alright, so this was my comparison on six different load balancing algorithms. Just remember, the main purpose of using algorithms is to send the client request to the best suited server. Okay, I hope this video will help you to understand the differences between them. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button.